Welcome dreamers, my name is Lucid, or Alex, and after 4 years of lucid dreaming, I finally curated the best and most effective strategy for you guys to learn how to lucid dream for your first time as a beginner. So 4 years ago when I first started learning how to lucid dream, there was a method called the wild or wake back to bed, and you would have to wake up after you went to sleep 5 hours later and then calm yourself down and dream about lucid dreaming and then enter it that way. And I thought that was amazing because you could potentially enter it tonight just because you're brute forcing your way into your lucid dream by by waking up before your REM stage and that honestly scared me there was so much to do I had to wake up I had to stay calm I had to meditate and all doing this at the same time while I was unconscious because of how tired I was and the worst part is is that if you guys haven't ever lucid jump before you guys don't know how to meditate and control your heart rate there's no chance of you guys even doing it to begin with so in this video I'll be teaching you guys exactly how to lucid dream for beginners the most effective and passive and easy strategy to ever get into your first lucid dream the first time that I learned this and I was putting this together myself four years ago it took me about 14 days and if you guys do exactly what i say in this video and you guys actually take action on what i'm saying and you guys don't just drop everything that you're hearing in this video you guys will definitely learn how to lucid dream within the next 14 days or even less the best part is is that there's no wake back to bed there's no real hard thing that you guys have to do it's just a couple of little tricks that you implement in your daily life which allow you to become lucid in the dream world so the secret that I only tell people that watch my live streams because I live stream every single night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. The secret that I always talk about in my live streams is that the only way to ever completely become lucid within the first 14 days or anything as similar to that in like a very short amount of time is you guys have to keep on thinking about lucid dreaming in the real world. And I haven't seen this tip anywhere else on the internet, no forums, articles, videos, or etc. This is a tip that I made up by myself as I went from a non-dreamer into a lucid dreamer and today. 14 days it's because i used to think about it so damn often and i used to tell everybody about it and i was always talking to my friends about it and i was just so interested and infatuated with lucid dreaming that eventually it took over my mind to the point where when i became lucid i said okay i was kind of expecting this because i've been thinking about it for so many days straight so don't make this any one of those skills that you just pick up and drop like a weight loss journey or even a diet plan this has to be something that you're thinking about actively daily like you really cannot stop thinking about lucid dreaming like this has to always be in your mind at all times just so that you can enter it in such a short amount of time and it's not even all that hard work all you're doing is just thinking about lucid dreaming and what you would do if you were ever in a lucid dream right now so just keep it in your mind keep it fresh and keep on thinking actively about what you would do if you were in a lucid dream and how amazing it would be now into the actual real raw strategies into entering a lucid dream the first one is dialed this is my most favorite way of entering a lucid dream because it does not require you to wake up, go back to bed, or do any other extra things. All it is is you practicing a reality check similar to the movie Inception. It is you plugging your nose or putting your fingers through your palm and I will explain exactly what I mean by that. So the first reality check that I recommend and there's hundreds of them out there but the most effective reality check is to put both of your right hand fingers, your index finger and your middle finger through your left hand palm and try to enter it twice and if your fingers do enter through your palm and they pass through as if your palms don't even exist then you're dreaming congratulations and why would this happen you're probably very puzzled right now but the reason for this is that in your dreams your palms do not work so if you can pass an object through them such as your right hand fingers then you are dreaming so i found out about this reality check first off of reading my first book on how to lucid dream uh, i was like a freshman in high school reading books during school time and i read that in a book and the reason why it's my personal favorite is because it's so discreet and nobody can tell that you're doing it and it barely even takes a couple of seconds to complete my next most favorite reality check to entering a lucid dream is to plug your nose and try to breathe through your nose so hold up i have to plug my nose you're damn right you gotta plug your nose and try to breathe through it and if you can breathe through your nose and that means you're dreaming this is because our dream self is plugging our nose and our real self isn't therefore we still can breathe this is a very clever way of how to tell if you're dreaming or not and honestly if you guys don't feel like these last two tips helped you out enough i made an entire video on reality checks so you guys can check that out in the cards above now how do you implement these reality checks to show you that you're lucid dreaming because i know that if you're dreaming sometimes you're just your just dream is too foggy and you can't really take control over it enough to the just reality check so how do you reality check in a dream very consistently and the one tip that i can give you guys is repetition and i'm not gonna go say do it every 30 seconds on the 
second every day for like 600 times, you have to make it a little bit more realistic. Every time you do a certain thing, or every time your body completes a certain task, then you want to do it. For an example, if you walk into a new building, do your reality check. If you see a computer monitor, do your reality check. If you see a white light bulb, then do your reality check. Make it so that every time you see something or you do something that happens extremely often in your daily life, you have to complete your reality check at that moment. This is a great way to get yourself to keep on picking up on such a good habit because once your body creates a habit in the real world, you will eventually carry that over into your dream world. So the more you reality check and the more you make it the norm in your life to reality check, you will eventually do it while you're dreaming and in turn that will make you lucid. And every time you do make your reality check, be sure to like look around you and have a lot more self-awareness than you normally do just to check if you're dreaming or not. So you can look around, check the curtains, check the walls, make sure that your mirror is placed on that exact wall and not the other one because lucid dreams or actually dreams in general always have objects that are out of place and you might just end up in Mexico as you walk outside of your bedroom door. They're crazy. So along with using the reality check technique, make sure that you guys do increase your self-awareness so that you do know what's going on around you. The next tip that I have for you guys and the most easy tip that I have for you guys actually is a lucid self-affirmation and you guys want to just lay down in your bed before you go to sleep and tell yourself over and over again something along the lines of I am going to understand that I'm dreaming tonight or I am going to become lucid tonight. And if you tell yourself this over and over again, you eventually will come to the point where your brain does believe it. And if it believes something will happen that it has full control of, it actually will happen. So concluding the beginner tip video, if you guys need any personal one-on-one -on -one help, come to my live streams every single night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. I'll be answering every single question, every single comment you guys have on Lucid Dreaming. And if I taught you guys anything new from watching this video, it'd be amazing if you guys can just hit that like button and help me support my dream. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. It really does mean the world to me. And as always, stay dreaming, stay lucid. Peace.